Hello everybody, my name is Taylor. Um, so I wanted to start tracking my dividend investing finance journey through YouTube. Uh, this is on my old channel where it used to be dedicated to painting and I guess my bird. I used to have a cocktail, or uh, cockatiel. <laughs> uh, so I guess we should just get started. Um, just as an introduction, um, I'm 31 years old. I turned 32 in about four days. I currently work at a hospital. I make about 75,000 a year. Um, I only really started to get interested in investing about two years ago. Uh, before that, I had zero interest in any kind of savings, retirement, investing. Just I didn't want to be a part of it. So I do consider myself pretty far behind the average 32 year old. Uh, just some background. Uh, I have a 401k. It's worth about 32,000 right now. I do have a Roth IRA as well. It's valued at about uh, 10,000. Uh, I just purchased a home in February, kind of before the whole pandemic started. I purchased it for 445,000. I put 10, uh, 20% down. So currently I owe a mortgage of 100, sorry, $350,000. Uh, I do have an emergency fund. It's about eight months of my expenses, and my net worth is currently hovering around $110,000. Um, again, I do consider myself far behind uh, the average investment-savvy 32-year-old. I would say on average, uh, you know, the average person does not invest heavily up until 30. So I think I'm ahead, but I'm behind where I currently want to be. Uh, so I do have a new account with Weeble. I, I tried M1, I tried uh, TD Ameritrade. I didn't really care for TD. I thought their, their app was kind of unsightly. Um, it's great for, for news and research. I like that a lot. Uh, but I tried Weeble and I actually love it even more. I think the news, uh, finding, uh, the, the ratings, the news, um, just statistics, their outline, their, uh, their graphs and everything, their infographs, I think it's all really well done. Uh, as you can see, my I only started investing about uh, maybe two and a half months ago, late April, so I did miss the big dip in the market around March. Uh, so I, I started investing a little late, but... Um, at the time, I, as I said, I had just purchased a house. I had other things to put my money towards, including paying a small loan back to my parents. I wanted to get that money to them before I started uh, investing into my own stuff. So as you can see, I have around $3,000. There's about $350 pending to get into the account. It takes around five business days to transfer over from a bank account. So it's sitting at around $3,000 right now. So my positions, you can see I, I invest heavily in Ally Banking. Uh, I wanted to diversify very quickly, very soon. So you can see I have like two shares here, three shares here. Uh, Ally is kind of the outlier at 48 shares. I thought they were valued very well around the $16, $17 range. So I purchased heavily into them. Um, I, I do use Ally for my emergency fund. I think it's a great company. I highly recommend it to all my friends, my family. Uh, I started with them back when their interest was around, you know, 2.5%, 2.4%, which nowadays seems like an incredible rate. Currently, I think it's at 1.2%, uh, something like that. Uh, you can see here I have some Simon Property Group. I think that... We might see another decline soon, but I felt that at $51, that's, that's what I purchased them at, that it was a really good purchase. Uh, I plan to be a long-term holder on all these stocks, so Iron Mountain. Uh, we actually use them at my my work. They are like a storage facility and a recycling facility, so we store a lot of stuff with them. And then all of our uh, HIPAA paperwork goes to them. They, they recycle it. Waste management, I'm a big believer in. I mean, you, where don't they serve in America? They they almost hold a monopoly on the waste uh, sector. Uh, we use them here at my house 
I think at $98, they were pretty fairly valued. Uh, Coke, I believe in. I think Coke is one of those borings. I, I do have Pepsi as well, but with Coca-Cola, I know that they, you know, they're a relatively boring company. They don't fluctuate. They don't have huge swings. It's around $50 usually at any given time. So I bought five shares of those. Um, Jets is an ETF. I don't feel comfortable investing into any one single airline. Um, if I, my best guess would be maybe Southwest Airlines, but I'm not even chancing the risk with that. I don't want to invest too heavily into one airline just to have them go out of business or get bought out by someone else. Uh, I'll show later a lot of the dividends that go to zero. A lot of them are airlines, LUV, uh, Boeing, a lot of those companies, they cancel their dividends. And with jets, you kind of get uh, the whole gamut of uh, the airline stocks. And so I feel a little bit safer buying that one. Uh, store, we are going to see, I believe, a lot of big changes in the retail sector. I don't even know if malls will exist five years from now. And currently, as I'm recording this, uh, the riots started over the weekend, and they're going to take a hit from that as well. I, so store is another risky buy to me, so that's why it's at four shares. Um, but at $18 a share, I don't feel like I'm risking too much. Uh, okay, as we scroll down, I have main, NRZ, and then Resi. I think that all three of these are kind of up on the risk as well. But again, I have, what, $200 worth of investment into it. I'm willing to risk it. And I think I bought them at fairly priced prices. Uh, I don't feel like they're going to go down much more than they are. Maybe Resi will. Uh, I feel like we haven't been hit in the housing market very much at all. I think, if anything, the housing market has improved since this whole thing started in early March. My house has gone up in value. So a little confusing, but the stock market doesn't seem to be following any kind of logic with current events. AT&T, I used to own this uh, about a year ago. I had about 50 shares. I sold out um, to buy my house. I was up quite a bit. And then to put a 20% down payment on a half a million dollar home in Southern California, uh, you need all the help you can get. So I sold out of my AT&T. I also held a lot of MO back then, and I took a big profit from both of those. And so now I will be slowly getting back into AT&T. As for Altria, I don't think I'll be getting back into it. It's a sin stock. I don't believe in the tobacco industry. I don't really want to make my money that way. I would rather invest in companies I believe in. Um, so having said that, Bank of America, it's I bank with Chase. And from now on, I will be continuing, continuing to purchase uh, Chase shares, JP Morgan anyway. Uh, at $22 for a Bank of America, I bought one. This was like one of my very first purchases. I think I funded my account $100, and that was like one of the first ones as well as Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond is one of those companies that uh, discontinued their dividend. So uh, I'll probably sell that pretty soon. Uh, ATOS is not a dividend company, actually. Um, I held around a thousand shares of these guys in my TD Ameritrade account for well over a year. Uh, I I don't want to get too much into what I do for work, but um, I have high interest in breast cancer research and ATOS uh, genetics or therapeutics. They um, they are doing a lot of studies with uh, breast cancer, and it's a company I really believe in. Just holding it alone makes me feel like a proud owner. I really like what they do. And as a side note, they are currently, uh, they have some COVID-19 studies as well. Um, so we may be seeing some big swings with them soon. They've been hovering from $3 down to like 86 cents over the last year. Uh, I would not 
be surprised to see them spike up to four, five, six dollars a share. Uh, Levi Strauss and San. I don't know what SAN is. That was my free stock that I got when I signed up, as well as Levi. I don't really plan to invest further into those companies. Uh, those are those Pepsi shares that I was talking about earlier. I do plan to buy more. I think that Pepsi, I like Coke more to drink, but I probably will start investing in Pepsi more than Coca-Cola. Uh, Pfizer and Medtronic, they're both healthcare sector that I also believe in. Um, I think Pfizer is extremely undervalued right now, although they're down 6% from what I bought. I think we'll see them make a slow rise up and uh, I'll be happy to invest in those some more. Here's one of those charts I was talking about. I love their infographic charts. Uh, I'm on the max setting. You can see I started in late April. Um, I've seen a lot of gains so far. For what I have, It's I'm up 31%. Um, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Here you can see that uh, my capital gains are at 171, and then there's the dividends at zero. Uh, I don't borrow margin. I don't invest with margin. I don't want to get involved with margin. I as well as options trading. I am willfully ignorant to options trading. I don't want to get involved. To me, that's more gambling than anything. And I want to be a long-term holder. Okay, here is one of those infographics I was talking about. Ally is my biggest, uh, it's my biggest holding and it also has the most value increase. So that's why that green bubble is the biggest. And you can see Medtronic and Pfizer and Pepsi, they're all down. So that's what the little red ones are for. Here's the comparison chart with uh, the DJ. So I'm up 30%. Dow Jones is up 7%. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but I'll take it. And then down here we see the daily. I'll switch over to the weekly. And I'm up pretty much every week. There's one week where it was down quite a bit. I'm not concerned with that. As a long-term dividend investor, I will not be paying attention to any kind of swings in the market. The only time I pay attention is when uh, the swings are down and it's a good time to buy. So you can see here that I have $0.00 in dividends. I'm excited to start seeing these roll in. I'm like every other human, I want to see instant results. So a lot of these companies I bought just to diversify and to start seeing the ball rolling. I want to see you know, two or three companies pay me every month. And if I invest heavily into just one company, I run the risk of getting discouraged just like everyone else. If you don't see a dividend for three or four months, you may not be as hyped to buy in more. Uh, here's my watch list. So you can see that I adjust it by the percent change daily. So Pfizer is down quite a bit today, 7% as I'm recording this. And this is how I decide whether or not I want to buy. Um, so like if with Pfizer, I would open it up and see maybe what the last week has been or the last uh, month has been. And if they're down quite a bit, I'll buy a few shares. Uh, if it's something like, let's see, Medtronic, um, they're down almost a percent today, but they were up all last week. So likely I, I would not buy because I still think that there are other companies that are more affordable right now. You can, you can, uh, sort by the dividend yield and you'll see that disney boeing bed bath uh, delta southwest alaska they're all at zero percent so i'm really interested in buying disney i think that all their park closures and everything they will see some decrease in revenue although their streaming service is a big hit especially with all the children in the lockdown the parents probably are more than happy to put on the same disney movie nine times in a row for the kids so they really haven't seen much of a decrease in value. They're still hovering around their all-time high. Uh, if they hit under 108 or 100, I will think about purchasing, even though the dividend is zero. I think they'll raise the dividend again once they're better positioned with <clears throat> park openings. Uh, Boeing, I really don't plan to invest in. It's too risky. The 737 MAX problems, I'm cautious when it comes to Boeing. But I am interested in investing in Southwest and Alaska Air. I will probably be purchasing more of them uh, once I start seeing a recovery from all the shutdowns.
<clears throat> and then here's the last page that I wanted to show. It's my first dividend yield. It's coming in about 10 days. So I'll be happy to see that 20 cents added to my account. Uh, this is the first of many that I'm really excited to do. So that is pretty much it. I just wanted to start with this video. I'm sure that the format of my channel will evolve as I go through this. You know, I'm pretty new to this. This is the first time I've even recorded my voice in eight years. So hopefully this is the first of many and I hope to see you all again.